Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. We're on chapter 19, Last Hope. And in between videos, uh, I and my friends have been a little busy buzzing bee. I've been leveling up a whole bunch of characters, uh, making sure that we get them up to promotion level, and so I can, you know, have a bit more variety and stuff that I choose. Um, and it's going to be good for the post game as well. So anyway, uh, I decided to level up Mur a bunch. She is 16 now, so she's basically able to take on a lot of the end game stuff um, perfectly fine. And her Dragonstone still has a decent chunk to it, 33 out of 50. So should be going good with her. Amelia, I uh, popped her up um, to level 20, and we can now use a Night Crest on her. So we are going to do just that, and we have the choice of making her a great knight. Or a general, I always make her a general, she's always best as a general, and we will follow through by continuing to make her a general. So, we will do that, and, uh, she is pretty fucking badass as a general, not gonna lie, she's, uh, yeah, dangerous. It's also interesting that she's red, because, you know, she used to be an enemy unit, that's why she has red armor, and, uh, and now we have a red general. The red general, oh yes, indeed. She has access to a bunch of new stuff, which is fantastic. We then have uh, Noll, who I also popped up to level 20. And we have two choices. Now, this is the first time we're ever going to see um, a Dark Magician. Uh, the two versions. We've got the Druid, which is uh, you know very powerful and really cool. But Noll, much more suited to this class, which is, of course, the Summoner. So we're going to turn Noll into a Summoner. And I'll show off the Summoner because uh, he is really awesome. And he has a very neat trick he can do. Um, this is a new class that was introduced for this game, I believe. And it is pretty neat, I'm not going to lie. Definitely not as powerful as the Druid, but he has some tricks up his sleeve, for sure. So, uh, we have Noll as our summoner. Now I'm going to make Yuin use a Guiding Ring. And he's going to take the flip side. We could make Yuin a summoner as well, but what would be the point in not having two summoners? We're going to make him a Druid. And this is really, this is the only way... If you want to have access to both the Summoner and the Druid, you have to take Ewan down the Dark Magic path. You just have to take him down that, because there's no other way to get access to both. Because uh, Noll is the only Dark Magic user you get uh, just on his own. Um, whereas Ewan, you can kind of decide where he wants to go. And we have made him into a Druid. So uh, yeah, we're kitted out. Noll, Ewan, Amelia. Next up, Marissa, uh, who... I'm going to make into the alternative. Now, we uh, have already a Swordmaster in the form of Joshua. We don't yet have an Assassin. I usually make Call My Assassin, but we're now going to make Marissa an Assassin. And I've never actually uh, done this before. I've never really used Marissa a huge amount. But we're going to make her an Assassin and uh, see how deadly she can be. Oh, indeed. There's a lot of nice boosts going on here. A lot of good growth we're having, as is expected. Um, so there you go, she's, uh, she's an assassin now. Then we have next up is Vanessa. And we have one class which we have not seen yet, which we don't have access to um, until this point. Which we have had access to if we were to choose Cormag to do it. But instead, we're going to make Vanessa a Wyvern Knight. Because um, we already have Tana as a Falcon Knight. We have Cormag as a Wyvern Lord. We have seen Volta as the Wyvern Knight, and now we're going to make Vanessa a Wyvern Knight herself. So the Wyvern Knights can only use lances, but they have a cool ability. We'll see uh, We'll see how that goes. We'll show that off. So we have a Wyvern Knight, finally. Um, and I believe that that is pretty much it. I don't think... Oh, no, 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 no. We do have to do this. See, so I just realized that freaking Ford has been sitting here for forever. Um, at level 20 and no one's doing anything about him so I guess we have to do something about him now don't we let's upgrade Ford and we're going to make Ford a paladin because we made um, Franz into a great knight uh, and I want to see what Ford's like as a paladin because I've never really uh, tried him out as one before and there we have him with his upside down candlestick shield oh yeah so we have a bunch of new people upgraded at this point which is really fantastic um but I don't think I'm going to use a huge amount of them straight away, especially when we have what is considered by many people one of the hardest chapters in the game coming up right now. So, let's ride down there. I'm going to have to just quickly 
get past this skirmish because it's in my way. I'm not going to do the skirmish, I'm just going to, uh, real quick, um, start the map. This is, this is how you get out of skirmishes, you start the map, you start here, if you want to you can go and kill something, we'll see what Vanessa looks like in combat. Alright, let's watch her, the Wyvern Knight. Pow! Very nice indeed. She's getting hardly any experience, of course, because low level. See, I want to see what Marissa's like, actually, as an assassin. This is a nice place to kind of show off what these, uh... Oh, God, she... Oh, uh-huh. There's a crit. That's a crit. Mm, the dangers. Jeez, that's a lot of experience. Whoa. Okay, anyway, um... Maybe we'll show off Ewan as well. Okay, no, actually, you know what? Because I'm not going to use Noll in this next chapter. Let me show off what Noll does. So Noll is a summoner, as I mentioned. So he has this very neat ability, which is the ability to summon. So what Noll can do is he can summon a unit to the battlefield. And this unit has one HP, it's a phantom unit, and uh, and it's able to kind of be used as bait. So you can use it as bait to draw in enemies, you can use it to attack enemies, of course you won't gain any experience for doing so, because it's a guy and he's kind of weak to be honest but you basically use him as like draw points so I can put him over here and draw over the centaur and, and that kind of stuff which is really neat and really cool and um, I'll probably be using it in some time in the future anyway um, as I said we are going to just uh, get out of here by clicking the retreat and uh, we're just gonna leave the battlefield which will uh, ask to save it will also get rid of the thing there and um, and now we can head on up into the Rouston Court, which is chapter 19, a very infamous chapter. Let's do it. Oh man, here we go. This is going to be fun. The sacred stone of Renee has been broken. Constant strife with dark creatures has made the group's progress nearly impossible. Princess Lara Cal of Rouston suggests they pay a visit to Rouston Court. It is here that the final sacred stone is sealed away. Lara Cal rides cheerfully towards her homeland with the company in tow. Oh yes indeed. But how cheerful will she be upon arrival? C'est la question. C'est la question. Alright, what's up? What's up, people of Rouston? King. Home at last! My dear sweet palace! Uncle, I've returned! Oh, Lara Kel, it's good to see you safe. Of course I'm safe, Uncle. Evil can never defeat the forces of righteousness. Ha! You're exactly right, my dear. Now tell me, who are our guests? Pontifax Mansell of Rouston, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Erica, Princess of Renee. I come to you today as an emissary of Frillia. And I'm Ephraim, Prince of Renee. I come with Erica to warn you of the danger our world faces. It began when... And now they tell them the entire story. Hmm, I see uh, that you just have to hear to at once. However, I've heard of the fair creatures and tackling wards. Now, Kel, you will need the stone of Rouston and I rather have victory. That is so, Uncle. I would like permission to open the temple seal. Hmm, there's no need to rush yourself, so, Lara Kell. You are home again, in this blessed haven. You should rest. How can I relax until I know that our sacred stone is safe? At the least, I'd like to ensure that the temple seal is intact. Oh, is something amiss? I think we'll take a night to rest after all. Everyone is so exhausted. My dear friend Erica especially has a very trying time of late. Erica, ah, don't look so sad. It wreaks such havoc on your wreaks such havoc on your beauty, Lara Kell. I, what should I do? Leon was one of my dearest friends. I feel so helpless. There's nothing I can do to help him. Your friend is gone, Erica. All that remains is the Demon King masquerading as Leon. For the good of all humanity, he must be defeated. Ah, if only truly were that easy, though. Erica, I never knew Prince Leon. I cannot pretend to understand the sadness you must feel. However, I do know this. The Leon you hold so dear were here with you today. What do you think he would want you to do? I can't. There's no need to rush, Erica. Take your time and think it through. You need to find your own answer. Now then, it's about time we found ourselves something to eat. It's hard to be optimistic on an empty stomach. Yes, I'll be right there. Thank you, Larakel. <laughs> God, you hit this time of night, such a diligent soldier. Huh? Who goes there? Where are you looking? I'm over here. What? No, I'm over here! 
What's wrong? I'm right here. <laughs> what? what? Is the darkness too deep for you to penetrate? Can't you see what the night is hiding? Uh, attack! BAM! <laughs> Humans will never conquer darkness. This guardian of light, Rousen, will drown in a never-ending night. Come, my pretties, it's time to go. The day of Rousen's destruction has at long last arrived. Your Highness, the speed of attack! We think it's Kratos' man fleeing from Freelu's forces. However, they've breached the palace defences at multiple points. What? The Imperial Guards at a terrible disadvantage of numbers right now. It's less a battle than a slaughter. I'm not sure they'll be able to hold out until the Kiranats of Rousen arrive. How has this happened? I'm saying we can't invaded, I must. Uncle, please, you must keep yourself safe. We can't take care of this. Is everyone ready to go? Hell yeah! Princess Erica, please! Prince Ephraim and I will handle this. Seth, it's all right. Erica can take care of herself, isn't that right, Erica? Yes, I'm sorry if I troubled you. Let's go. We have to protect Pontifex Mansell. Pontifex, indeed! The Pope, the bearded guy, the dude in charge. And we will protect him! I'm gonna sort all that out off screen, so I'll see you guys back in a second! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that took a long time. Um, you wouldn't know, of course, but okay, we have a lot of units we can use in this map. Uh, and I have decided I'm going to bring Erica, Amelia, Noel, Lute, Ewan, Marissa, Ephraim, Garcia, Cormac, Natasha, Joshua, Ross, Jarek, Tana, Naomi, Gilliam, and Colm, leaving behind Mur, because I don't feel like she's necessary in this map, leaving behind Arthur, because as much as it's nice to have him around, I feel like using a variety of magic users is better, having Ewan and Noel there and have the support and then Vanessa because I don't feel like she's gonna actually help me that much I still haven't used Franz in ages as well and there's Ford kind of sitting on his own well that's fine for the time being this is what we got we have a lot of stuff to sort out here though um, I already done most of it anyway uh, so we've got the torch on Erica because we need it because it's a dark uh, level uh, Natasha has been given a torch wand as well. Um, everyone's been kitted out. I have the Philly shield on Cormac so he doesn't get killed by arrows. Um, I've got lo loads and loads of weapons uh, equipped to everyone. We are basically ready to go. I gave Marissa the lockpick so she can do some picking of the chests. Uh, let's take a quick look at the map to show you guys. This is the map. It is uh, Ralston. And uh, what we basically have is three chests over here. I'm going to make the goal of Marissa to hit those chests up. And then we have three chests up here, which is going to make the goal of Colm to go get those. And then up here in the top, we have the G crew plus loot, because we need loot there for some support. But we've got the G crew plus loot up here. They should be smashing through this area, because there's going to be lots of reinforcements up here. Fucking tons of reinforcements down here. So many. Unbelievable amounts down here. Um, and uh, the other area shouldn't be too bad. But that is the plan we're going with. We're going to try and roll um, and uh, without further ado I guess we will just begin let's go alrighty <laughs> the day is coming and swiftly dare my triumph our vengeance self-righteous fools of Rouston where are your miracles now march on march minions of the demon king your time is upon you tonight we claim not only Pontifex Manson's sad life but also Rouston's sacred stone <laughs> you scretin Mansell, I will have my revenge. You should never have excommunicated me. The Demon King will be your new master. Well, there we go. Leon, you were so selfless. Your generosity seemed to flow from a bottomless well. I'm so sorry, Leon, I couldn't save you. But I know what you would have wanted. I know it is as I know my own name. So watch, Leon. I will defeat the Demon King. I hope you will indeed. Anyway... Let us uh, kick it off. Let's get Colm to... Actually, yeah, let's get Colm to march down here. Open up a bit of what we can see. And we've got a couple of remnants here with axes, which Colm can actually deal with, okay? Apart from he's equipped with a Lance Reaver right now. So I'm going to go over here and trade with him. Make sure that he has uh, the Iron Sword equipped. Um, and that should be okay. Erica, I'm going to pop back here waiting um right a lot of stuff to execute on here we've got amelia who can move up here and see what's going down i don't think there's anyone up there she should be fine doing her own thing i'm gonna pop marissa over here get a bit more scope okay so we've got double druids here 
double swords. Um, I'm going to summon a dude real quick with Noll. And uh, send him for some scouting purposes. Just put him there as some bait. Um, and yeah, we should just start moving down, I guess. I'll move Naomi, uh down here. Steel bow equip, that's fine. Tarn, I'm going to send him more up the way. Ross can be coming down with the main crew. Cormag as well. Uh, and Natasha popping in over there. I'm going to bring you in. Joshua, alright. Uh, and then Erica can kind of hover around. I don't think we need to leave anyone really in the main area. Should be okay there. But we shall march forward with the three G's. The G crew. My man in charge. Uh, okay. And loot. Alright, and that's everyone moved, I think. Let's see where they're going to be moving. Oh man, a lot of, uh, lot of people going to be coming up here. I really probably should have uh, put someone who has a torch uh, over by with the G crew. Because they are going to have some trouble, I feel. Now these Ralston Knights, they're pretty expendable. Uh, they're basically going to die to a lot of the enemies pretty easily. Uh, and the nice thing is, is that the enemies will be drawn towards them as opposed to be drawn being drawn towards your own units most of the time. As long as uh, a green unit is in range, then the enemy is going to go after them instead, which is, it's a nice thing. It really helps out, I feel, in many cases. So, there you go. Alright. Anything happening here? What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. I guess people were just moving in the dark. I was like, is my game frozen? What's what's the deal here right now? I guess there's loads of uh, dark maneuverings going on. Alright, now this druid's gonna... Oh, no. Oh, God, that's nasty for this guy. Oh, and he's, he's gone. Yeah, he's kind of just dead. Ow. Not good, not good. But a huge cluster of enemies already over that end. So we should start moving over. And, um, and making some grounds. Jeez. Well, all the green guys are out of the way, so we've got no buffers anymore. No more buffers, indeed. And more maneuvering in the dark. Jeez. All right. Now they're going to start attacking for us. So you can tell, even though the, this map is like survive for 13 turns or whatever it is, it uh, it certainly takes some time because there's a huge amount of units. There's another phase to always go through. And you have 17 units of your own to maneuver. So there's going to be a lot of action happening. Oh, nice. Those guys revealed some of the enemies for me, which I appreciate. Most definitely. All right, let's just battle axe chop our way through this man. Crush him completely. Garcia. Oh, I love that I'm actually using Garcia. It's really great. He's actually being a useful dude. Fantastic stuff. Jarek, uh, yeah, just slice the rest of this guy up into pieces. And uh, then I think I'll attack with Gilliam on this guy, and then I will end the video, and we'll come back, and we'll get into the meat of this, meat of this chapter. Oh, God, I just love the size of that axe, right? It's so meaty. It's just so huge. It's ridiculous. It's on a chain as well. All right, well, there we go. Gilliam finishing off that dude, and with that, I'm going to end uh, this video. But we'll be back to survive some more turns and hopefully finish chapter 19. See you guys then.